everyone, my name is Anthony and this is the week one instructional video for the Taba class. Hi, so first of all we're going to take a look at the parts of the drum and the names of things of the drum. So as a set these drums are called the Taba drum. Sometimes the little wooden drum right here is also referred to as the Taba drum. It is also referred to as the Dayan, D-A-Y-A-N. This drum is usually set at a pitch. This drum is also very resonant. This metal drum is called the Baya, and it's your resonant drum, it usually sits on your non-dominant hand. On both drums, as you can see, there's this outer layer right here where it looks like it's like a double layer, like where it looks like there's a second layer on top. This outside layer is called Kinar on both drums. In the Kinar, if you can feel around, there's a piece of string in there. And the reason for that piece of string is so this outside layer will lift up. So the drum will resonate when you're able to play in this middle section and when you play it on shore. This middle section right here on both drums is called sur, spelled S-U-R. Sometimes you will see it spelled as shore, S-H-U-R. Both ways are correct. So this middle black section is called the gob. The gob is made out of rice, boiled rice, and nail, um, and iron filings. How the gob is applied on is tabla makers will take some, will take some gob on their finger or their thumb, and they will layer it down one by one. As you can see on some of your drums, you can see that there are little rings on both of these gob drums. As you can see on your baya drum, the gob is off-centered just a little bit. The reason for that is so you can lay your hand on the drum as you're playing. So now we're going to take a look at bowls. Bowls, spelled B O L S are the onomato poetic syllables that you are going to say and each one of those syllables has a stroke or sound that corresponds with it. Remember with this one to always, always recite. I can't stress enough how important it is to recite every single time you play especially while you are playing. So the first bowl we're gonna learn is na. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your ring finger here, back here on the edge of the gob. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna play on the outside edge of the drum, on kinar, on that way, so you can get that nice high pitch woody sound. This is how it looks at a different angle. Na, 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 na. So when you're playing na, you don't have to lift your pointer finger back up. Think about just sticking your finger there, but not applying too much pressure on it. Don't worry about the sound being too quiet for right now. If it's quiet, that's fine, but as long as there's a sound, even if it's super quiet, eventually the sound will get a little bit louder as you keep practicing.
that's not. So the second poll I'm going to teach you is called TIN, T-I-N. And what you're going to do is you're going to think about dribbling a basketball, the same hand shape of when you were playing na. Now you're going to play it in this center spot right here on sur. This is how it looks at a different angle. Think about pushing the sound out of the drum. And that's tin. The next bowl that we're going to take a look at is called tune, T-U-N. And all you're going to do is take your pointer finger and strike the center of the gob. So there isn't really much to tune. All you have to do is think about it's a full open sound. And that's tune. Now we're going to take a look at exercises on just working on those first couple of bowls. And we're just going to play na four times, tin four times, tune four times. So like this. This is how it looks at a different angle. to keep reciting. Always recite while you are playing. The next bowl we're gonna take a look at is called tete, T-E-T-E. -E. Now, if you were to split your, if you think about splitting your right hand into two beaters, we have your pointer finger and you have these three fingers. You're just gonna play three, one. As you can see, I'm hitting right in the center of the gob, right dead center, to get the most depth of sound. Now we're going to take a look at an exercise that utilizes all the bowls that we've learned so far in the right hand. Just like the previous exercise, it's going to start off the same with na four times, ten four times, two tune four times, and then we're going to end it with tete four times. So 
the entire exercise sounds like this. Na, 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 ten, 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 tune, 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 pet, pay, pet, pay, pet, pay, pet, pay. You can repeat that exercise as many times as you want. Just remember, the entire time you are playing, make sure you are reciting the entire time. This is how it looks at a different angle. Next, we're going to take a look at all the open strokes on the by hand. So anything with a G consonant. So the letter G means that it is an open sound on the by hand. So the next bowl that we're going to take a look at is called gay. So anything with a G consonant. So any bowl that starts with the letter G. So things like gay, yin are all played with an open stroke on a baya, and it sounds like this. As you can see, the baya has a nice full open sound. That full open sound is what you are trying to achieve when you're playing the baya. This is how it looks at a different angle. Remember, when you're playing gay, you want to think about a nice open sound, all resonance. Now, just like the top of the drum, we're going to take a look at closed notes on the baya. So anything with a K consonant, so cut, key, anything with the K sound means that it's a closed baya. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take your hand and you're just going to lay your hand on there and play cut. This is how it looks at a different angle. Now we're going to take a look at some exercises that combine both the bowls of both the left hand and the right hand. So what we're going to take a look at is this phrase that goes cut, tet, te, gay, gay, tet, te. And we're just going to repeat that over and over again. And it sounds something like this. One, two, three, four. on to that exercise. So we have cut, tet, te, gay, gay, tet, te. Now we're going to add on gay, gay, tune, na, na, tet, te. 
So the entire exercise is cut, cut, pay. So again, with that exercise, make sure to always, always, always recite and keep reciting. Even if you don't have drums in front of you, you can always recite and keep thinking about the bowls and keep thinking about how the bowls correlate with your hands. Now we're gonna take a look at some bowls that are played with both of the hands together. So now this first bowl is called Da, D-H-A. So what that means is that there's an open bio, gay, and na played at the same time. That's called da, D-H-A, da. This is how it looks at a different angle. Next bowl we're going to take a look at is called din, D H I N, and that's played with gay and tin together. So it sounds like this. This is how it looks at a different angle. Remember, when you're playing tin, you don't want that woody sound. You want that open sound, nice and open sound, but not quite as open as tune, but and now with fire. Remember to keep reciting, always recite while you are playing. Next, we're gonna take a look at what's called a tala, which is just a beat cycle. And this, the name of this beat cycle is called teen tal. It's either spelled T-I-N-T-A-L, or you could also see it being spelled T-E-N-T-A-L. So thin tal or teen tal, either one works. So first, let me explain what teen tal is. So teen tal, is a 16 beat cycle that comprises of four lines. It only uses two different bowls. It is, the first two lines are what's called the buddy section. The third line is what's called the cully section. And then we finish it out. So now what we're gonna play is something called the teen tall teka. The teka is the way that you play a tall. So the specific bowls in which the tall is played. So in this case, we're just gonna use two bowls, which is just da and din. Remember, da is na and ge together, da. And din is tin and ge together. 
So now, the first two lines of the Jin Talteca are exactly the same, and it's Da, Din, Din, Da, and then repeat it. Da, Din, Din, Da. Take a look at Kali. Kali is spelled K H A L I and it just means empty beat. So, in this section, for these four beats, we're gonna take the baya away. So, we're gonna play na, din, din, na. Again, na, din. So now we're going to take a look at what's called Kali, spelled K-H-A-L-I, and it just means empty beat. It signifies the halfway point of this tall. And now we're going to play it without the baya. Same line, same hand movement in the right hand, but just without the baya. And it sounds like this. Na, tin, tin, na. As you can see, I'm playing tin with closed baya, with cut. Na, tin, tin, na. And that's played together. Not like a flam, but together. Na, tin, tin, na. And for the last line of the Teen Talteca, we just come back in with the baya. Na, tin, tin, na. So the entire Teen Talteca is played like this. Remember to always recite while you're playing. I can't stress this enough. Always, always, always recite, especially when it comes to this. Now we're gonna take a look at a variation of the Teen Talteca. This is more of the usual way of how this teca would be played. And all we're gonna do is push Koei just one beat. So in Koei, so instead of Koei starting on beat nine, it's going to start on beat ten. So it sounds something like this. So here's another way of playing the Teen Talteca. The previous way we played it, we just pushed Kali just one beat. So in starting, instead of starting on beat 9, it starts on beat 10, and it pushes all the way to beat 13. So now we're just going to change the bowl on beat 13. Instead of playing Na, we're going to play Tete right there. So from Kali, it sounds like this. From So it sounds like this. The entire thing sounds like this. Da, din, din. Da, da, din, din. Da, da, din, din. Da, 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 din, din. Da, da, din, din. 
So the team Tolteca is very important. The reason why is because we always refer back to it. No matter what we play, whenever we're finished with a certain composition, we will most likely go back to the team Tolteca or whatever Tolteca we are in. We always refer back to it and play it again in between each section of compositions. I will explain that a little bit more as we go on into the weeks. And it's played something like this. So now we're going to take a look at our first composition, which is called a tukra, T-U-K-R-A. A tukra is a fixed composition that usually ends in what's called a tihai. A tihai is a phrase that you play three times where the last beat of that phrase lands on what we call sum or the big one or the downbeat. So. We're going to take a look at this first phrase. You should know this phrase because it was some of the first practice phrases that I gave you earlier in this video. And it goes like this. So the first line of this tukra, we all should know. It's exactly like the practice phrase that I previously mentioned earlier. And it goes something like this. Cut. Cut. So that's the first line. So it's, if you think about this being the eighth note pulse, two, three, and cut, cut, gay, 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 cut, gay, cut, cut, gay, 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 cut, gay, cut, cut, gay, 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 cut, gay. So that's the first line. The next line goes something like this. Gay, gay, tune, na, na, tet, tet. That's the second line. So, gay, gay, tune, na, na, tet, tet. That one again. Gay, gay, tune, na, na, tet, tet. So the first two lines back to back sounds like this. Ready? Two, three, and cut. Cut, gay, 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 cut, gay, 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 tune, na, na, cut, gay. Again, cut, cut, gay, 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 cut, gay, 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 tune, na, na. Last time, cut, cut, gay, 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 cut, gay, 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 tune, na, na, cut, gay. So this next line goes something like this. Cut, cut, gay, gay, cut, gay. Just taking that that much. So cut, cut, gay, gay. One more time. Cut, cut, day, gay, cut, day. If we add that on to what we played at the beginning, the previous two lines, it sounds something like this. Ready and cut, cut, day, gay, gay, cut, day, gay, gay, tune, na, na, cut, day, cut. Make sure when you're playing those gay gays, you're alternating, okay? So the last part that we're going to take a look at of this chukra is just the end. It's the tihai. And the tihai is just ki, te, da. That's the phrase. So ki, like cut, te, like tete. We all know tete, but just the three side of the hand. So that's ki, te, right in the center. Ki, so it sounds like this. Ki, te, da, rest. Ki, te, da, rest. Ki, te, da. That last da should land right on one. So, so this entire tukra should fit 
in the team Talteca with that last da on that key to da landing on some or beat one of the beat cycle of the team tall beat cycle. So if we were to recite the entire tukra, it sounds like this. Cut, cut, te, gay, gay, te, te, gay, gay, tune. Na, na, te, te, cut, te, te, gay, te, te, ki, te, da, ki, te, da, ki, te, da. And then you would play the teen talk teka in between each rep. Between as kind of like a way to relax and to think about it. But just to remember what the beat cycle is also, because we're in a 16 beat beat cycle. So, so now, if we were to add in the teen tall teka before we play, it sounds like this. The entire thing recited sounds like this. Da, din, din. Da, da, din, din, da, da, tin, tin, na, te, te, din, din, da. Here we go. Cut, te, te, gay, gay, te, te, gay, gay, tune, na, na, te, te, cut. Te, te, gay, te, te, ki, te, da, ki, te, da, ki, te, da, din, and then so on and so forth. And you would play that over and over again if you're practicing. So that entire thing played sounds like this. So starting from the team Talteca sounds like this. Da, din. This is how it looks at a different angle. Da, din, din, da, da, din, din, da, da, din, din, na, te, te, din, din, da, and cut, te, te, gay. So here's another tukra, and this tukra only uses three bowls. It's just da, tune, and na, okay? So now we're gonna play it in 
three different groupings. So the first grouping, we're gonna play it three times. Da tu na da tu na da tu na da. A little bit slower. Da tu na da tu na da tu na da. And then there's a rest there, and then we're gonna play it two times. Da tu na da tu na da. And then we come to the T high. So the first two parts put back to back sound like this. Da tu na da tu na da tu na da rest. Da tu na da tu na da rest. So now it's just the T high, and all it is is da tu na da. Rest, da, tu, na, da, rest, da, tu, na, da. That last da again, landing on some. So that, just that line played sounds like this. Da, tu, na, da, rest, da, tu, na, da, rest, da, tu, na, da. One more time, a little bit slower. So one, two, ready, and da tu na da rest da tu na da rest da tu na da. So the entire two chord played without the teen tall teka sounds like this. Really slow it is one two ready and da tu na. Here's what it sounds like with the teka up front. So this next composition that we're going to take a look at is called a kaida. So a kaida is a theme and variation type of composition where the fixed part of the composition it comes from the theme. The cool part about these types of compositions is that there are two sides to kaidas. The first side of a kaida is called buddy. The buddy side of the kaida 
is all open baya. That means that you're going to play all the open strokes on the baya, no closed strokes. The Kali side, just like when we were talking about the teen tall teka, is the closed side. That means, just like in the teen tall teka, all the baya sounds will be played closed or not be played at all. So the first line of this kaida sounds like this. So it's two da's, followed by a tete, and now a tete followed by two da's on that second half. So da, da, tete, tete, da, da. Again, da, da, tete, tete, da. This is how it looks at a different angle. The second part of this kaida closes the baya and leads us to kali, and it sounds like this. Again, te te da ge tu na ke na. This ending phrase of te te da ge tu na ke na. When we play tune, we're gonna play it with closed bias. So we're gonna play tune and cut at the same time. Why we play the baya with tune is so the sound and depth of the baya does not leave the composition. So when you play cut with tune, it keeps the depth of sound from the baya. This is how it looks at a different angle. <laughs> So for the next part of this kaida, we go into what's called kali, which, like I previously stated, means an empty beat. So we're going to play the exact same kaida, but without baya. Sounds like this. The first line sounds like this. Ta, ta, te, 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 ta, ta. As you can see, I'm saying ta, t-a in replacement of da. Not na, but ta. The reason why we say ta and not na is because ta is its own separate bowl in the Kali section. Na is it's also it's, its own separate bowl, but both ways are played exactly the same. So again, that first line sounds like this. In Kali, sounds like this. Ta, ta, tet. Again, ta, ta, te, 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 ta, ta. This is how it ta, looks at a different ta, angle. Te, 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 ta, 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 te, 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 ta, ta, te. So the, in the second line of Kali, we bring the baya back, and it sounds something like this. Te, te, da. As you can see in that second line, it's entirely played with baya, as opposed to when we first played it, we were closing the baya. This is how it looks at a different angle. Te, te, da, ge, di, na, ge, na. Te, te, da, ge, di, na, ge, na. So now 
the entire Kali side of this kaida sounds like this. Ka, ka, te, 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 ka, ka, te, te, ka, ge, di, na, ge, na. Again, sounds like this. Ka, ka, te, 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 ka, ka, te, te, da, ge, di, na, ge, na. This is how it looks at a different ta, angle. Ta, te, 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 ta, ta, te, te, da, ge, di, na, ge, na. Ta, ta, te, 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 ta, ta, te, te, da, ge, di, na, ge, na. So the entire theme played both buddy side and kali side the buddy side with the baya the kali side without the baya sounds like this da da te 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 da da te te da ge tu na ke na ta ta te 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 ta again da da te 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 da da te te da ge tu na ke na ta ta te 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 ta ta te te da ge di na ge na this is how it looks at a different da, angle. Da, te, 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 da, da, te, te, da, ge, tu, na, ke, na, ta, ta, te, 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 ta, ta, te, te, da, ge, di, na, ge, na. Make sure when you are practicing this kaida, you are reciting it the entire time. I can't stress enough, recitation is just as important as the playing. So now we're going to get into some variations. The first variation, if you take a look at the kaida, we're just going to repeat that first line three times, that second line, and then we're going to go to Kali, do the same thing. So on the buddy side, the first part of this sounds like this. Da da te 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 da 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 te 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 da 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 te 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 da da te te da ge tu na ke na. Another way you can think about this variation is that you're playing the first line of the kaida two times and then you're going to play the buddy side of the theme going into kali. This is how it looks at a different angle. So time to take a look at the Kali side. It's played the exact same way, 3-1, the first line played two times, but that last time, that third time, we're going to bring the baya back in, like this. Ta, ta, te, 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 ta, 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 te, 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 ta, 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 baya comes back, da, da. Ge, di, na, ge, na. 
Just calling again. This is how it looks at a different angle. So now I'm going to play the entire variation, both Buddy and Kali together, and it sounds like this. Da, da. So the second variation of the kaida, if you think about, we have two das and then a tete and then another tete. We're going to repeat that two times and then end that line with a da da tete. So the entire thing sounds like da da tete tete da da tete tete. Da da te te. And then from there, you're just going to go right into the theme and then call it. So the first two lines, just the variation part of it without the theme, sounds like this. Da da te te te. That again. Da da te 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 da da te 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 da da te te. This is how it looks at a different angle. And then from there, you just go into the theme. So the buddy side of this variation, the second variation, sounds like this. Okay, here's the theme.
This is how it looks at a different angle. So the entire Kali section of this variation sounds like this. Ta ta te 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 ta ta te 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 ta ta te te ta ta te 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 ta ta te te ta ge ni na ge na. This is how it looks at a different angle. Remember again, on this variation, the bio comes back in right on the theme. So right on da da te 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 da da te te da ge di na ge na. So for the third variation of the kaida, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play da da te te. And then for the next part, we're gonna take out one of those da's to make it go da, te, te. And we're going to repeat that phrase two times. So if we just do that two times, it sounds like da, da, te, te, da, te, te, da, da, te, te, da, te, te. And then we're gonna end that with two da's going into the theme. So just the variation without the team recited sounds like this. Da da te te da te te da da te te da te te da da. And then right on that next beat would be where the theme comes in. So the buddy side of this variation of variation three sounds like this. Da da. So the entire Kali section of this variation sounds like this, with the theme and the baya coming back in on the theme at the end. Sounds like this. Ta ta te te ta te te ta ta te te ta te te ta ta da da te 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 da da te te da ge di na ge na. So the entire Kali section played sounds like this. Ta ta te. So the entire third variation sounds like this. Da, da, te, te, da. So 
this next variation starts off the exact same way as the previous variation with da da te te da te te. Now, in the previous variation, we played da da te te da te te twice. We're gonna do the same thing, but the second time we're gonna go da te te da da te. We're gonna flip the phrase so the da te te is in the front now and the da da te te is played second. So just those two back to back sounds like this da da te te da te te da te te da da te te. And on that last beat, we're gonna play just another te te. So just the variation without the theme sounds like this. Da da te te da te te da te te da da te 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 theme. And then it goes right back into the theme. So the entire buddy side of this variation sounds like this recited. Da da te te da te. Da te te da da te 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 da da te 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 da da te te da ge tu na ke na. So just the first part of this variation, the buddy section of this variation played sounds like this with the theme. Sounds like this. The Kali section of this variation is exactly the same as the buddy section except for without the baya. So the entire Kali section recited sounds like this. Ta ta te te ta te te ta te te ta ta te 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 da da te 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 da da te te da ge di na ge na. So now the entire Kali section of this variation sounds like this. Ta ta te te ta te te ta te te ta ta te 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 da da te 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 da da te te da ge di na ge na. So this entire variation of both buddy and Kali sounds like this recited. Ta ta. So the entire variation with buddy and Kali sounds like this. Da da te te da te te da te te da da te 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 da da te 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 da da te te da ge tu na ke na ta ta te te ta te te ta te te ta ta te 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 da da te 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 da da te te da ge di na ge na so this entire variation played Buddy and Kali sounds like this. Da da te te da te te da te te da da te 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 da da te 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 da da te te da ge tu na ke na ta ta te te ta te te ta.
So this next variation relates to the previous variation. It starts off exactly the same with the da da te te da te te. But now that da te te, we're going to repeat three more times for a total of four times. So just the variation without the theme sounds like this. Da da te te 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 theme. So now the buddy side of that variation, the entire thing with the theme is played like this. Da da te te 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 da da te 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 da da te te da ge tu na ke na. So the kali side of this variation is the same thing, but without the baya. And it sounds like this. The entire thing recited sounds like of the Kali side sounds like this. Ta ta te te 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 da da te 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 da da te te da ge di na ge na. The Kali side of this variation is played like this. So this entire variation both sides, buddy and Kali, is played like this. Da da te te 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 da da te 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 da da te te da ge tu na ke na ta. So now what we're going to take a look at is the Tihai. The Tihai is the final section of this Kaida. As previously stated when we were talking about the Tukras, a Tihai is just a phrase where you play it three times where the last beat of that phrase lands on some or the big beat or one. So the phrase that we're going to repeat three times, the first part of the phrase is Da da te te da te te. Okay. From there, we're gonna count one two, and play da's in between. So the entire first, the entire phrase that you're going to repeat three times sounds like this. Da da te te da. So if you're counting along, that should land on beat 11 or on beat 5, depending on how you are counting this. If you're counting it da da te te da te te da one two da one two da one two three da one two da one two da one two three da one two da one two da that last note should be on beat 11. If you're counting it da da te te da te te da one two da one two da one two three da one two da one two da one two three da one two da one two da if you were counting along, you would either land on beat 11 
or on beat six, depending on how fast you are counting this. So the entire phrase is played three times. So you would play that phrase a total of three times where that last beat lands on one. So if I were to play it three times back to back, it would sound like this. Da, da, te, te, da, te, te. Rest. Da da te te da te te da one two da one two da one two three da one two da one two da one two three da one two da one two da rest da da te te da te te da one two da one two da one two three da one two da one two da one two three da one two da one two da And that's the end of this first kaida. So this brings us to the end of class one. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. My email is just anthonylanders at alum.calarts.edu. Thank you.